Right. Just place at the back in the play area because basically that's the only room available for it. Right. And this entrance here is where she can pop her head and um, have a little sup of water which is going to collect in the trough at the bottom there. It's a simple arrangement. There's a hole at the back of the bottle here for the water to flush out into this drain. There's going to be a tube at the bottom that's going to lead to a tank at the bottom of the flat. Right. This tube goes to a funnel which will be led to the back of the nest and it'll just basically be hanging down. Hanging down like that when I come to check. I'll gush some water in which will flush the old water out, also flush some seeds out which normally collect. It's one of the biggest problems of doing it manually. Have a little close up on this here. and she'll always have fresh water. Incidentally, the tube is a 12mm plastic tube which is available from most homebrew shops and the stopper is the top from a standard salt pot. It's first drilled out with a 10mm drill and then slowly enlarged to make a snug fit. Now back to the test. Now this could be a little bit tricky. Hose funnels ready there. Body was down there. Fills up the bottle, and the excess should flush out. I do not particularly want my computer to be ruined, so hopefully it'll proceed without a major disaster. There goes. Aha! 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 Right, there's slight leakage, which didn't occur on the first test. That is because it's a slight angle. I'm going to drop my knees like that. It should be okay. I will deem this there's a slight leakage there, it's spilled out. But I think that was due to the fact that it was at a slight angle. And the uh, remnants drained out there. And the cockatiels are impressed with it as well. Hi you little darlings. There yeah. Sitting on the rail there watching what I'm doing. Brilliant. I can't wait to see it in action. The actual installation of the water supply had to wait until Zed had finished the last clutch, which was a good job really because it gave him some time to make some refinements. Her nest is the top right one in the picture. As you can see it's tucked behind the bed out of reach of the chicks. The feed tube is missing as the picture was taken when I was dismantling the nest. I later installed one in the nest below, but has some problems with occasional flooding which was due to the drain tube being too narrow. In the next part I'll show you how to construct an automatic system, which will reliably, and above all, safely, provide your hens with fresh water every day. Until the next edition of Avian World, goodbye.